Around a year ago, a very young but fast growing company gave the Fablet enthusiasts a device that they were dreaming of for decades. Let me put it this way. In my opinion, this device is the best smartphone available in the market since it was announced a year ago. And it still sits on top like Bosch. This is not an advert and I'm not paid by anyone to make this video. It's just a tribute to a device that I truly love. This is Xiaomi Mi Max. This is the Nissan GTR of mobile phones. It's what Note 7 should have looked like. And it's a punch in the mouth of anyone who think a good smartphone should be expensive. It's hard to believe but you can get this phone for as little as 200 US dollars, in fact even cheaper because I bought this one for myself for 180 dollars include tax and everything. Yes US dollars. To get this phone money is not a problem but one you need to be brave to try new stuff and jump out of the little bubble that is made around you by marketing monsters two you must be a bit lucky and live in one of the 32 countries that xiaomi is selling this beauty in otherwise you have to import it which i did and honestly it's a easy peasy procedure three you need a bigger pocket uh, no not for its cost for keeping it as this phone is not small uh, but ladies have no problem because they can keep it in their handbag four there is no four okay then can we call this a flagship killer well this destroys flagships also kills any flagship killer and then pees on them and stands back and laugh i have thought a lot about how xiaomi managed to offer this thing at this price I was very skeptical at first and I was always looking to find flows and corner cuts but day by day, touch by touch, I realized this is the best tablet ever without a doubt and it exceeds all my expectation by far. It offers too much but asks for too little. God, I love this thing. Just look at it. She's thin, lightweight and sexy, tall and beautiful and this beauty is also a beast. I have seen few things on this tablet that I haven't seen them in any other smartphone, at least all in one package. Let me start with its battery life which puts most of so called smartphones and tablets in shape. I know most of you might thinking it's normal to always have to worry about battery life. Guys the truth is we all suffer from low battery anxiety and we might not even notice that. How many times a day you look at your battery percentage? Why you always carry in a power banks or spare batteries or a charger? No people, this is not normal. Poor battery life is not normal. Battery overheating is not normal. Fighting and arguing over electric sockets at work is not normal. And Mi Max is the proof. It passes 10 hours screen on time with ease. I've seen even 12 and 13 hours. With Mi Max, you never have to worry about battery again because draining its battery within a full day of use is just near to impossible. Plus, it's always running cool and stays cool, unlike other smartphones which get hot to touch by a bit of web browsing or gaming or few megabytes of downloads. This phone is super fast, even after nearly a year of use. Impossible? That's what usually people of other galaxies say and think. The back is metal and in front you are presented with a beautiful 6.44 inch full HD display with excellent viewing angles. Screen is gorgeous and colors look natural and pleasing and inviting. And more importantly, in a standard non-alien 16 by 9 screen ratio. The design is eye-catching. Mi Max is a ninja dressed like a supermodel. Uh, but not the ones who are just a couple of bones covered with a bit of skin. This sexy supermodel actually has some meat which you can get hold on to wear. I mean these bezels. Look at them, they are minimal and perfect size and despite all the bezel-less madness malarkey that is going around these days, this phone comes with a perfectly efficient bezel uh, which helps you handle this device efficiently without interfering with your hands palm. 
you need bezels because the Android control buttons are placed here on the bottom bezel. So your screen and viewing experience is always full screen and non-disruptive. You pay for a 6.44 inch screen and you are getting a 6.44 inch display. Unlike phones like LG G6 or Almighty S8, which only on paper their screen are 5.7 or 5.8 inch. But in reality, you are getting a much smaller screen as you get troubled by the weird black bars due to their strange screen ratios. This phone ticks all the necessary boxes. Build quality, tick. Gorgeous screen, tick. Unbelievable battery life, tick. Specs, tick. 3 GB of RAM on this international version. Excellent Qualcomm 650 SoC, which is, at least on this device, very efficient but effective. All necessary sensors, tick. Plus some more, like IR Blaster. Fingerprint scanner, a huge tick. It's one of the best I've seen. It's very fast and accurate. Well placed as well. I'm sure by now you have realized that I am a huge fan of Mi Max. And no, as I said, I'm not paid by Xiaomi. And I bought this phone with my own hard earned money. Cons. There is no bad thing about this tablet. Yes, it could have had better camera or Xiaomi could include more LTE frequencies in it or some more color options like dark gray or black but these really don't matter and don't bother a power user because when you need a personal computer or you need a digital assistant or a fun multimedia device Mi Max is always with you with enough battery and reliable connectivity to do the job for you with no ifs or buts for power users and for people who want a real personal computer in the pocket this phone is the answer for that long standing question which nokia had decades to answer but failed microsoft made two attempts but both were like jokes. Apple started to answer but never managed because they didn't want to. And Samsung did get close with not serious but lost its way. And others just weren't brave enough to be able to play with fire. But a very young Chinese company called Xiaomi did it like God. And they gave us the mother of all tablets. The one and the only Mi Max. Thank you very much guys for watching this video. We have a fantastic offer going on here on our channel and our website unboxgraphy.com which subscribing to Unbox Graphic channel is absolutely free for first 10 million subscribers. And if you subscribe, you will get another subscription for free too. So don't miss the chance. My Galaxy S8 review coming soon and I promise I won't disappoint you because it's going to be something completely different from other S8 reviews. Thanks again. My name is Sharam and you watched Unbox Graphy.